Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting, and I've been expecting you. Today's video, we're talking about glasses. Glasses. Why not glasses? Or we could talk about how I look like a serial killer in these glasses. <laughs> but what do you think? Talk about glasses? Let me get changed. Be right back. Well, the plan was I was going to wear these glasses throughout the video, but apparently I've never done a video on glasses, and glasses reflect light, and so all I see is the window, and it is pretty annoying. So the glasses are coming off for now. <laughs> well, let's get down to business, boys. Let's talk about eyewear. Years ago, you're having trouble in school. Maybe you're getting headaches. You're having trouble reading. Your mom's like, I don't know why little Billy's not doing well in school. Well, Billy may need glasses, lady, or Billy's pretty dumb. Let's assume he needed glasses. So, little Billy goes to the optometrist, gets checked. Indeed, he does need glasses. So, the doctor outfits him with a really sweet pair of glasses, something probably like this. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> little Billy. Poor little Billy. Wearing these things like birth control you wear on your face. <laughs> Nobody's getting ass with these. So poor little Billy wore these glasses until he was 18. But one day, Billy decided, I am tired of getting no action because of these glasses. And I know it's these glasses because I'm really sexy and hot underneath them. So Billy went to the doctor again, and he got contact lenses. And these glasses... Ah! He got rid of them. Apparently, Billy's a pussy because he couldn't break the glasses. <laughs> So for the next couple of years, Billy wore his contact lenses, and he had mild success in the dating arena. But one day, Billy got pink eye. And so he went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, Billy, you got to take your contacts out. And Billy's like, what? No! What am I going to do? He goes, well, put your old glasses on. And Billy's like, I tried. To... The glasses just aren't wearable. He's like, what, did you break them? And Billy's like, no, but they're not wearable. And so the doctor's like, all right, Billy, no problem. Look at the selection. Go get another pair of glasses. And Billy reluctantly was like, man, I got this much action when I was wearing glasses before. I don't want to do it again. Doctor's like, go pick out a pair of glasses, dude. So Billy goes over and he looks and he's like, wait a second. Hey, these are, what the, they have wood on the arms and they're not all big at, Billy's like, wait, what's up? I like these. But then Billy's like, wait a second, I see another pair. So Billy finds another pair of glasses that he loves. These are actually just have rims on the top and nothing underneath. These are pretty cool. He looks distinguished. He looks hot. Billy's like, Doc, I'll take both pairs. These are awesome. So that night, Billy decides to go out to a bar. So Billy goes out to the bar and all of a sudden he's getting hit on by everybody. Billy's bisexual. He's getting hit on by chicks. He's getting hit on by dudes. Billy's like, my goodness, what is going on? But the common compliment that both people were giving him were, Billy, hey, I really like your glasses. They're cool. And Billy's like, hey, yeah, <laughs> what's up? Yeah, I know. They, they are pretty sweet. They're Prada. I think they're me. That night, Billy goes home with a girl and a guy, not to leave anybody out, because we don't discriminate here at Alpha M Consulting. <laughs> Are you tired of Billy? Let's talk glasses. All right, guys. The reality is that some of us need glasses to read. Some of us need glasses to see far distance. Some of us need to wear glasses all the time. Um, something that you used to consider a handicap now, as far as style is concerned, is actually a little bit of a benefit. Guys that wear glasses really have a tremendous amount of options as far as eyewear is concerned these days. All right, so you're ready for a new pair of glasses. Let's talk about the different frame options. Well, for starters, you've got the full frame, something with a complete frame. You've got a rim all the way around the, the lens. You've got arms, something on the bridge. That's the full frame. You've got the partial frame or the partial rimless glass where you've got the arm, you've got a frame up top, over, bridge of your nose, but nothing underneath. This is rimless. And then you have the completely rimless glass, um, which basically, similar to these, except they've got 
<laughs> nothing up top. They've got the arms, they've got the piece on the nose, but that's it. They look like they're floating almost, like they're not even there. <laughs> Kinda. Next, let's talk about shape. Basically, you've got round, like perfectly round, like John Lennon used to wear. You've got sort of a square, like uh, Billy's glasses, <laughs> that didn't break. You've got rectangular glasses, something like this. Then you kind of have a mix, where you've got sort of a flat edge across the top, but a little bit more rounded underneath. And really, that's basically the different styles or shapes of the glasses as far as what they come in and your options. So now the big question, what's right for you? Um, unfortunately, this isn't going to be an answer you're going to like. It really depends. <laughs> um, typically, and this is a sweeping generalization, um, if your face is real round, you want to stay around, away from real, real round glasses. Try and say that three times fast. Um, if you've got a real square head, you want to stay away from glasses that are real square. You need to create dimension and a little bit of a, a difference in dimension. So if you have a real round head, you might want to go with something a little bit more oblong and rectangular, maybe the partially rimless, but definitely don't get the John Lennon or uh, Janis Joplin glasses. They will look absolutely terrible. I've worked with a lot of guys. I've seen a lot of glasses. And uh, regardless of the head shape, regardless of the face shape, um, something like a wireless or a partially rimless glass that is a little bit more rectangular, I've not seen these glasses look bad on anyone, honestly. Um, they've got different dimension in the sense that, you know, you've got something, some business going on up top, but you've got nothing underneath. Uh, come in a bunch of different colors, a, a huge variety of options. Um, these glasses work great on a lot of people, so check them out. The bottom line is that glasses are a fantastic way for you to really up your style and up your game. Now you're thinking, Aaron, I don't need glasses. Can I still wear glasses? Of course you can. It's just another accessory, brother. Think of it as like a cool belt. You want to throw a pair of glasses on without prescription lenses in? Do it. I have a few pairs. I actually do it on occasion, and it's just fun. Give you an example. One of my Facebook friends. His name is Ricky. Sorry, I had to look. <laughs> Chee -chee. <laughs> Ricky. Ricky, I, I posted something on Facebook. I said, hey guys, if you love your glasses and you wouldn't mind being in my video, send me your pictures. And so Ricky sent me some pictures. He sent me three pictures of him in three different pairs of glasses. Here's one of them. Super cool, kind of classic style. He looks dynamite. But here's another picture of Ricky in another pair of frames. Bang. Super cool, lots of detail on the arms. Then Ricky writes me a message. He says, Aaron, I actually wear contacts. All these glasses that I wear don't have prescription lenses. I just throw them in because they're stylish, they're cool, and I think they're awesome. And Ricky, you do look awesome, and your glasses are killer. I love it. Now, when I see a guy and he's got really cool glasses on, typically what I find really stylish about them are the arms of the glasses. This is where a lot of the designers get crazy and get creative. You have different thicknesses of arms, and right now, the thicker the arm, the better, as far as I'm concerned, as far as, you know, your style is concerned. Um, you know, the arms are really where the, the interest is, is placed on these different glasses. To give you an example, I have a Facebook friend, Haman. Now, the first thing you're going to notice about Haman is that he is one good-looking son of a bitch. <laughs> Knuckle bump. <laughs> Other than that, you're going to notice that he's got a very, very, very sweet pair of Versace glasses on. Check them out. Yeah, right? Haman, what's up? <laughs> Killing it. <laughs> now, for those of you who actually wear glasses, prescription glasses, the unfortunate reality is, is that Glasses are expensive as hell. You might buy a great pair of Prada frames for $230, but then by the time you get your prescription and your lenses, it's like five, $600. It's like, damn, I could spend that money on shoes or hookers. <laughs> Don't do that. Just kidding. Massage parlors. Woo. Oh, once again, kidding. Um, but I found a great website. It's called Zenny 
zenniopticaloptical.com. Let me spell that for you. Z-E-N-N-I, optical, O-P-T-I-C-A-L, zenniopticaloptical.com. 